What's up, everybody? It's Big Rough TV, and I'm back with a long overdue video. All right, so today I want to get into reviewing this the Google Pixel Book. Now, previously, prior to about December, I was doing all my video editing, all the sneaker videos and everything that you all see me review and talk about. I was doing all my videos on a Mac Mini, right? I got that Mac Mini, I wanna say it was 2015. I was doing all my videos on it. But early December, it crashed. The video is, uh, that I, I filmed, I was excited. And I went to plug in my, my camera here into the Mac to get everything set up, and the Mac Mini crashed. So I had to improvise. And since then, I have been using this, the Pixel Book, to edit videos. And I know what some people are thinking. It's a Pixel Book. You can't edit and upload videos from it. Yes, you can. And in this review, I'm going to show you exactly how. Let's get on into it. All right, so before, this was my setup. This is my TV. This is a LG 49-inch 4K TV, smart TV, right? And um, my, as you can see, the Apple setup is there. So I would have the, I have the Mac Mini. It's right there. This is my keyboard, wireless keyboard, and my wireless mouse. You see the PS4 and the Xbox One X there. Um, that's my inbox, uh, Avid inbox that I use for if I need to do voiceovers, but that's another point right there. But that's my Mac Mini. This is what I was using before to edit my videos and it crashed. So I would just have this set up here and use that to edit videos. I'll go ahead and log in so you all can see that. Okay, so now we're in to the I, uh, the Apple iOS um, software. Some of you will be familiar with that. So this is what I was using specifically to edit videos. And I did all my editing in iMovie. I'm not a big professional expert video person right now. I'm, you know, I'm still kind of a rookie at it. So I don't use Final Cut or any of the, the higher software yet. I'm, I'm interested. I want to learn and, you know, step my game up. But for right now, I was simply just using iMovie to get everything going. And for a few years, this has worked perfectly for me. It's taking a little while right now to come up. Of course, it would do that as I'm trying to show you. Um, let me close out of that. All right, so you see we're in iMovie right now. And you can see all the videos that I've created and uploaded in iMovie, right? You see the newest one up there is the video that I did yesterday because I just got my Mac Mini back and I decided to test it out and I filmed my video and uploaded it into iMovie, did the editing and uploaded it to YouTube from there. But if you see before that, the last video that I did and uploaded in iMovie is for the Yeezy Boost there. Uh, and that video was early December. But the last one, the, the first video that I did on the Pixel Book was the using an iPhone and uh, an iPhone 5C in 2017 video. So I did that one, and that was December 13th. That was the first video that I edited on the Pixel Book, right? So as you can see, everything is there. This is what I was using previously to upload all my videos before. Uh, I've been pretty consistent in using the Mac Mini, works perfectly fine for me. I had no issues with it before December the 13th. So on December the 13th, Mac Mini crashes. I had to figure out a way to keep the channel going while I had to send my Mac back to the States. Shout out to my brother, uh, Steve Austin, and uh, he hooked me up, helped me get that fixed and sent back to me. 
But while I was down, I had to figure out a way to keep my channel going without, you know, using a Mac Mini. And Pixelbook held me down. So let's get into that. All right. So here's my Pixelbook. Um, here's my Google Pixelbook. This thing is amazing. Easily my, my favorite computer that I own. I've owned three laptops, uh, three Pixelbooks. I mean, not Pixelbooks, excuse me. Three Chromebooks over the years. And this one, clearly the best. It's the most powerful. It's easy, easily the best laptop that I've ever owned. Um, you can see it's not brand new. I've used it, you know, got some wear on it there, some staining up. Uh, traveled with it when I went back to the States recently. This was the only computer that I had, so um, this this thing held me down a lot. Let me go ahead and get into it. Open it up for you all. Boom. Powers right on. Information, let me enter that in there. Boom. All right, so entered my password in there, and we're rolling. We're rolling. We're in here. All right, so opened up to my YouTube. I was, um, it shows that I had uploaded the LeBron video last night. If you haven't seen that LeBron 15 video, make sure you go check that out. Um, so let me just talk about a few things that I like with the Pixelbook. Overall, it's, it's mostly everything that I like. I don't need a whole bunch of things on here. I use Chrome. I've gotten used to using Chrome because I'm an Android guy. So I usually use Chrome everything on my my Pixel, you know, any of my phones I use it on uh, Android for there. So I use Google Docs and if I needed to do a spreadsheet, I've used the the Google Sheets and I've used the uh what is it? I use Google Play Music for all my music. I use Gmail. I use the Google Slides. Like I I do I'm pretty much all the way into Google, so um, all, I'm, I'm, it's not a learning curve for me. I just I, I'm used to doing it, and everything that I need is already here on the Pixelbook. So um, I'm a big Google Music fan. Open it up, boom! It's right there. Got my music set up right there. Um, if I need to type up something, I go out, boom! Here's Google Docs. Comes right up. You know what I mean? So there's Google Docs. I'm already in there. And it just works perfectly for me. These are the apps that I use consistently and uh, never have had any issues with them. Uh, I like in some cases that the Pixelbook shows two different, like it lets you have the app version of it or it takes you to the website. In some cases it works out because, you know, the... Um, the uh, app version sometimes works a little bit better. You might want to just quickly get in there. But other times, like for YouTube, for example, the YouTube app works. At, I prefer the website for the YouTube instead of using the app version. The app version doesn't work so well on um, the Pixelbook. So for that, I just stick to the actual website version of it. Um. As for everything else, Google Play uh, Movies, I use um, the Google Play Movies app if I want to watch movies and stream it to my TV or to, because we have Chromecast on the other TVs in the house. We have a, a Nexus player in our main living room. This is how we watch TV. So I just use it to um, go into, I'm connected to the wrong Wi-Fi. That's what's going on here. All right. So... I use the Nexus player to watch TV and I just get things and I stream it directly there and it works out perfectly for us. And you can do all of that through this, uh, through um, just connect in here and stream straight to it. And it works like a charm. Everything uploads. Um, I'm getting a whole bunch of notifications. There's my, there's the Google Docs again, uh, opening up. And I'm getting notifications in here. Um, I get notifications for Instagram on the corner there. There's some Instagram notifications. 
There's my YouTube studio notifications there. Just everything comes in here and it works perfectly fine. It's, it's, it works the same as getting notified for things on my phone. Somebody liked my post about the Rhapsody album there on Instagram. So I just got another notification about that. Um, just works real consistent. And I can open multiple tabs at once. Um, here's Netflix. Works like a charm there. Um, no, I did not want to receive notifications. But here's Netflix on the Pixel Book. And let's go ahead and open up an app. So an app here would be, this is my YouTube studio on the corner there, and it just opens up as a regular app. For me, on the Pixel Book, that works perfectly fine. I don't need that to be a big screen thing. It just opens up right there. I can check my little information, see who's hitting me up, see who's liking the video, which I hope you all are doing, and I can keep it moving, right? Then, let's say I still go to Google+. Plus. I know a lot of people don't use Google+, Plus, but you know I still go there, check out people's pictures from using their Pixel Book, getting all my latest Google information. So this is Google Plus opened up on the Pixel Book right there. So that works like a charm. And everything just open, it's quick. As soon as I wanna go to it, boom, here's my app drawer. If I wanna go somewhere, boom, brings up the rest of my apps. And then I can just scroll. And let me go back to that, to the drawer, hard to do with this angle. Boom, open that up. And it's also touch screen, so I can just touch and bring everything up. And these are my apps. If I wanted to go somewhere, where I want to go. Let's check out Comixology. I don't even know if I've actually set that up. But for something like Comixology, I will want this to be more full screen, which it works. I don't think I've set my information up on Comixology. So, but boom, it works. Uh... Let's see, what else opens up here? Here is my Google Photos. So Google Photos there, just opens everything up, shows my pictures. This works perfectly in landscape, I mean, and not landscape, but in the full website mode. Um, so certain things, it's certain things that work better like that, and there's certain other things that you will want to be little, like just so you can get a quick glance of it and then keep it moving. But um, yeah, I, I never set up my comicsology. I don't know why I opened that one up. But basically, all the regular apps and things that I would need to use on a daily basis work perfectly fine. Everything that would work on my phone works perfectly fine here. If it worked on the tablet, it works perfectly fine here. The touch screen response is flawless. There's no lag. Everything is going on perfectly. Did I open something? I opened something. All right, so you see that that opened up until I think that's a resume. I don't know why I had that up. But, oh yeah, that's a report. An example of a report, typical um, examples that you get on Google, templates I should say. But it all works, there's no lag. Um, and it has all my docs that I've typed up over the years in here song lyrics, different folders for homework that I might have done while I was in school. Um, it's just, everything's there and it works fine. That's my, Google Docs is probably the most thing, most used app that I have on here um, besides the music. Uh, so glad that that works flawlessly on here. But we'll go ahead and get into now what I, the main topic I wanna discuss because you've seen countless other videos that talk about the the pixel book and everything that it can do so you know how it works by the way i do have the pixel book pin um one complaint i don't have very many as it relates to the pixel book but one complaint that i have with the pixel book is that this pixel book pin was not included in this box and I had to pay for it separately. So that is one negative against the Pixel Book and Google for this because this should have been included. This should have come with the Pixel Book. So one knock against Google there. All right, so I know everybody clicked here and they wanted to see 
what the pixel book can do i tell people all the time that now i can do excuse me video editing on pixel books a lot of people don't believe that now is it going to get you final cut pro level mkbhd channel quality of video editing no but i can pretty much assure you that you didn't notice a difference in my videos from march 13th forward there was probably one video i used a different app that was a little blurry kind of looked a little messed up i don't use that one anymore but since then you probably couldn't even tell the difference in videos it just was that seamless using from using iMovie to using this and it was it, it like it worked perfectly fine so let's go ahead and open it up um there's a few different apps that you can use to edit videos on the pixel book right um it was funny there was somebody on the android authority uh post a few days ago they did a post on facebook and they reviewed their pixel book and in the comments i said i absolutely love mine i use it all the time i'll show pictures of it um i use it all the time i edit videos from it somebody tried to call me out in the comments and be like oh don't get ahead of yourself you can't edit videos on chrome and pixel book oh, like i'm lying so I'm, I'm not lying let's look into it uh so i'll scroll down here boom and there you have you have your lightroom there you have squid you have a bunch of other apps but the app that i use to make it happen right there is power was it power director power director is right there on the side and I'll open that up the very first app that i found for video editing on the pixel book was an app called kind master that one didn't work and it was like 45 dollars a year it didn't and it the quality of it didn't look that good for me so i you know i didn't do that one i didn't roll with that one but this one one time fee of i think it was six bucks i think it was six bucks i paid one time put that on here and i've been rolling ever since um so by the way this is the uh, this is the lowest uh the lowest priced pixel book the uh 999 one the 128 gigs um so yeah if you start editing videos that's gonna fill up pretty quickly that's something i i started noticing but that's not a problem that's nothing that an external hard drive can't uh fix for you but um as you can see here are my videos um, let me try to get that out of the light for you all. But there you see my videos right there. And I am editing. I edit everything right here. Let me see. I'm trying to show it to you. All right. So this is, let's, uh, what's this one? This is the New Day, New Jay's video. As you can see, it says edit project produce video save as delete project so if i wanted to edit i'll go in there and it shows you everything that i was doing right here um let's play that boom what's up everybody it's big rough tv and i'm back with another video all right so as you can see this is me um doing the video and i go over here to the top there and this is where you can add effects you know if you wanted to add certain things to it certain lighting effects to it you can do it in there and then if you wanted to add different layers to the video as far as adding the sticker the thumbs up video that i have been doing at the end of videos is a sticker it's in here it's right there thumbs up if you like this video it's right there um, different effects like the video is right there so just little uh, little touches that you can see um, in here things to add to your video to make it better if you want to add different videos and some music that's another video if you had another piece of video that you needed to add to it if you wanted to just add some pictures, there's some pictures there. If you needed to add some sounds, 
there's the sounds there that you can get into um, to make your videos perfectly. And what you do, you open it up. Let me go into that. Here's some sounds. You click on them. You play it. You say, oh, man, I like that one. Let me see how that sounds. Right? If you like it, you hit the little plus button that's right there. It's a plus button. And then you add it. It automatically adds it to where the video is. So let me hit the plus. Boom. So now you see that purple down at the bottom. Now that sound is added into my video. Um, if you don't want that, you can just click out. Sometimes it's easier to use a finger than to try to use the mouse. But if you don't want that in there, you can just undo it. Boom. Now that purple's gone. So there's no sound in there anymore. But the Pixel Book does edit videos. Let's see, the very first one that I edited here um, in Power, um, Power Director Pro. Dang, there's been a lot of videos here. Let's, uh, there's a lot of videos I did. The Make a Pixel Watch. Make a Pixel Watch. This is the first one that I have in here. I think I did a few in Kind Master before I switched and found Power Director Pro. But as you can see, this is Pixelbook. This is the video directing uh, app, a video editing app, I should say. And everything that I've done as far as videos for the last month or two, month and a half, has been, let's say, two months because I just got my Mac Mini back yesterday. Um, the last few months, all the videos that you have seen come from this channel have been edited and uploaded from a Google Pixel book. So if ever you see people try to downplay a Pixel book and say, oh man, you need a Mac if you're a video editing person, if you edit videos, you need a Windows or a Mac, you can't do that on the Pixel book. Refer them to this video, because yes, you can. Yes, you can edit videos on a Pixelbook. And they actually turn out good. The only complaint that I have with this um, is that you cannot edit background sound. That's the one thing that I think is missing from this app. Sometimes I'll be doing videos and a fan will be running because it's hot in this room. And I can edit that out on uh, the iMovie app. I can go in there and hit the background app and I can lower it and it'll, it won't sound like a fan. It's just running. But in here, you can't edit that. So that's one knock against this. Um, there are certain um, sounds and things that I've liked better on the iMovie. But... Once I started rolling in this, I came to love it. And as soon as I finished the video, all I did was I took this. I took this adapter that comes with the... Um, this actually came with my Google Pixel 2 XL. This is the uh, USB-A to C converter. I plug this at the end of the cord that connects my camera. And I plug it into the side here of the Pixel Book and I upload the videos from here to here. And then once I upload, unplug it, and then I'm done. And then I start editing the videos. Simple, it's a really simple process. And I might even say, like I can cut and do everything on here. You just gotta drag and edit if you want something. Oh man, I made a mistake. You can cut it out. Just the same as I did with adding the, the sounds and videos and everything. You can just add it and cut it and it works flawlessly, man. It really works. And you can do that. So this computer has so much power that I would, I would highly suggest using it. You don't need a Mac or a Windows computer to edit videos. You can clearly do it on a Google Pixel Book. So in the end, as you can probably tell, I absolutely love this Pixel Book. And I feel like it was well worth the money and the investment that I put into this. Um, it does everything that I need, whether it's typing up documents for school. I've done a lot of homework in Chrome, um, music, streaming videos, 
typical everyday laptop use that anybody would use a laptop for just on the slide if you wanted to get a cheaper one you can do it on here it's perfectly fine and if you're a power user and you need to edit videos you know to upload to YouTube and you just need something to get you by works perfectly fine as I've shown you this is what I've been using for the last two months to upload videos this has been my only computer in house for the last few months and it held me down and it's done the job so salute to Google on a spectacular device man like it's and it's even more seamless one thing that I forgot to mention if I film a video from my pixel 2 XL if I film a video from here it's already hit here it's already here all I gotta do is upload or uh, open up Google Photos app and the video that I filmed from my phone is already here I just got downloaded to it and I can use it to uh, use it in my videos in fact two videos ago the mall vlog video that I did I filmed it on my phone opened up here downloaded the video put it right into the uh, power director app uploaded the video edit all the scenes together flawlessly it was perfect so don't believe the hype there are going to be plenty of people that are just so used to the cheap chromebooks of the past that are going to say this is not worth your money you can't do anything for it. if you're a power user it's a waste of your money don't believe the hype yes you can all right you can edit videos if you're like me and you don't need final cut pro and all those higher up Video editing uh, software, Pixelbook will hold you down. One thing I will say, if anybody from Google is watching this, please, please give us your own video editing app. That's what this needs now. That's what this is missing. We need your own software. We need a, a Pixel movie. You know, a G movie or a, a, a garage band sort of app for this. We need these kind of things on this computer because now you have made the software, I mean, the hardware that can support it. Give us the software to go on it. So then that way we don't have to go use third party apps such as PowerDirector, although there's nothing wrong with PowerDirector. It held me down and salute to them. That way we won't have to do that. We can just use the in-home apps such as Apple does with iMovie and GarageBand. Give us an equivalent to that, to those apps, and keep it all in-house. And everything will be copacetic from there. But beyond that, I highly recommend it. If you're ever thinking about a Pixelbook, I hope this video can help push you over the edge and make that decision. Also, in the future, Google, stop playing. Put this in the package with the Pixelbook. Stop playing. This is not by itself. Don't do this. Put it in the package with the Pixelbook. Make it a bundle. Beautiful thing. But that's going to do it, man. I don't want to go too long. I know I've already gone long enough right now. Thank you all for watching. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you have not already. More content is on the way. Thanks again for watching, and I'll holler at you all in the next one. Peace.